Look goals in place. Only authorised people can access the stadium tonight. I had a couple of seizures during my playing days and I just happened to be right here at uh, Suncorp Stadium at Lang Park where I remember having one. Quickly, Lewis! Rugby league legend Wally Lewis might be Australia's most famous person with epilepsy. I was facing this direction. Uh, it was on a, the 22 metre line as it, uh, as it was in those days. Um, and I was jogging backwards um, and I felt the tingles go through the system. Wally was scared and ashamed and managed to keep his condition a secret until he was live on air presenting the news for Channel 9 and had two seizures in the space of a week. It led him to confront the problem 13 years ago and have successful brain surgery. Look, every time that I used to go on air, I was petrified. Uh, no longer do I have to do that. The surgery has given me plenty of confidence aboard and now I uh, can muck up plenty of stories that I, uh, that I present, uh, but it still doesn't worry me, still doesn't bring a seizure on and I'm no longer petrified every time I go on air. I've been having headaches that I wasn't sure if it was caused by stress or tiredness or my medication. I hoped they'd pinpoint what it was causing, the headaches. Caroline Kadelka first realised something was very wrong when she had a seizure as a child. Now she's taking part in an ambitious project which uses intensive testing to understand more about her epilepsy. When I finish reading, I'd like you to repeat back the numbers in the reverse order. The testing is being done at Melbourne's Florey Institute, which specialises in brain research. The first test is to assess her memory. Six, four, two. Two, six, five, four. Epilepsy, it's a brand to say that someone is having these periods where their normal brain function is interrupted and then they can't control their brain. Caroline is involved in the Australian Epilepsy Project, which researchers believe could revolutionise diagnosis and treatment of patients. A major problem for epilepsy is that it can be ignored, thought to be other things. It takes a long time to get diagnosis. We're bringing advanced imaging and we're doing advanced neurocognitive testing that is uh, telehealth and we're doing genetic testing. Next, Caroline is having a functional MRI scan. Inside the scanner, she's given language tests so researchers can see which part of her brain becomes active. And the activity is the one where you decide if the pairs of words match, okay? Okay. Just like we practised outside. Are you ready to start? Ready to go. Excellent. Caroline is a uni student and language is something she struggles with. Sometimes I feel less eloquent or intelligent when I try and get the words out of my mouth um, because what's happening up in my brain is not verbally coming out of my mouth and it's really irritating. And these are all the bits you use to use language and you can see that this is your left hemisphere and that's the right hemisphere. Neurologist Graham Jackson uses the early results to show Caroline how hard her brain has to work when she speaks and reads. She'll have to wait to find out more about her headaches. And it's interesting, it even shows us the bits of your brain you turn off so you can pay attention. You're actually using the other side of your brain a bit to try and help you, you know, do your language functions. The match will be just the second ever played at Queensland. Wally Lewis is backing the push by the Australian Epilepsy Project to establish 10 specialist hubs across the country. To be able to uh, be under the control of a, uh, of a, a national authority, um, you'd, feel, you'll, you'd feel pretty comfortable about that. There are serious health consequences from epilepsy, including higher rates of depression and suicide, and hundreds of people die unexpectedly each year. One of the highest uh, risk factors for, for dying is that you've not seen a specialist. I've been seizure free for six years now and um, I'm living life independently. Twenty-four-year-old Rachel Vella also had seizures throughout her teenage years, but nothing seemed to help. Once I started having um, more violent seizures at night, 
Um, I felt quite confused and not in control of my body, which for a 15 year old is quite scary. I would always have to have people looking over me. But after Rachel had a functional brain scan with Graham Jackson, it changed everything because it identified a tiny part of her brain as the problem. Even though I did have many scans before, none of them were actually able to find that spot. And lo and behold, there was one part of her brain that was so hugely connected compared to everything else that it had to be abnormal. We did a tiny operation and she's been seizure free ever since. So th this is remarkable technology that needs the advanced MRI, it needs the advanced computing, it needs the advanced analysis. The project has been shortlisted under the Federal Government's Medical Research Future Fund. Fantastic. I'm just checking to make it a reality, they're bidding for $65 million. It's a chance to revolutionise our understanding of epilepsy and lead the world in how, how we should deliver healthcare. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.